It's 10.30 at night, and I've been riding the Disneyland Railroad for 14 and a half hours. Nobody is making me do this, and I can stop whenever I want. But 15 and a half hours ago, I was curious about how this day would go. What would it be like to ride the Disneyland Railroad all day long? Well, friend, now I know. Friends, while everybody else is rushing down Main Street to try to get to the rope drop of the different lands, I'm waiting for a different rope drop. So here's the idea of the day. Do something stupid, because stupid is fun, and stupid makes other people happy. When someone asks me why I love smiling and saying, why not? Most people could never imagine going to Disneyland and attempting to ride the train all day long. And I totally get that, but I am not most people. I'm someone who loves adventure and doing things differently. A different experience will always provide a different perspective. Three summers ago in July of 2019, I rode the Disneyland parking tram 116 times over 17 and a half hours, where I gave myself the nickname, The Trampian. And today, I will attempt to become the Trainiac. Today, can I beat that number? Can I go for all 16 hours? Can I at least get to 67 rides to celebrate Disneyland's birthday? That happens to be today. It's my favorite kind of day when you don't know what's going to happen, but you know something will. If you put yourself in the position to create an adventure. So this is where I say, greetings, fellow citizens of Disneyland, Bricky here inviting you to see how long can I ride the Disneyland Railroad in one operational day. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I promise you something will. It's the story of the Trainiac. There's the magic sound. <laughs> <laughs> Let the magic begin, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Rope drop at the Disneyland Railroad. So excited. Going to ride in the back. Feeling the magic, man. They got the music playing in the background. I am feeling it. Here is my chariot. Yeah, 67 rides today. Let's do this. <laughs> all right, friends, it all begins. Ride number Just ahead one. Is New Orleans Square Station. This station also serves frontier. Friends, let me establish the rules. A ride is defined as going from point A to B. So going from Main Street to New Orleans Square would be considered a ride. Just as if you got on an Amtrak train and you went from New York City to Chicago, they would consider that a ride. If you go on a flight from A to B, that is considered one flight. So today, each stop consists of a ride. My goal is to get 67 of those done to celebrate 67 years of Disneyland. Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe number two, stay seated. People say I'm crazy doing what I'm doing. People say I'm lazy dreaming my life away. Ah, people asking questions, they're lost in confusion. Well, they shake their heads and they look at me as if I've lost my mind. I tell them, there's no hurry. I'm just sitting here doing time. I'm just sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. I really love to watch them roll. Not my words, John Lennon's. But they perfectly sum up how I feel today, sitting back and watching everyone else live their Disneyland day. I often wonder how Walt must have felt, watching everyone else have fun. Today, on Disneyland's birthday, I hope to gain a thimble full of his perspective. The art of learning how to love watching more than participating. 824, first four laps in, first Grand Circle Tour. It's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute to get to 67, that's for sure. Disneyland. Two laps we hope you enjoyed before your 9 o'clock. It's happening. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. All right, friends. Getting ready to hit 9 o'clock, which would be my first full hour. So far, really, really mellow. But I know when I did the tram stunt three years ago, started out mellow, got really, really crazy, and then uh, ended a little bit mellow. But so far, just enjoying the nice quiet morning you know what i'm gonna go ahead and pre-click it here's number 10. friends today i'm just sitting on a bench celebrating that being dumb takes you back to the summer days of when you were young 
days full of no responsibility and full of friends. And as I meet my Disneyland friends, I'll be celebrating that no two days at Disneyland are ever the same. And because of my imagination, my limit to unique Disneyland experiences will never be completed. A little bit after nine o'clock and we just hit our first unscheduled delay. So there's no watering here in Tomorrowland. And these are gonna be the things that make it very, very interesting. How many of these happen and why do they happen? Who knows, maybe they're putting another train on the tracks or maybe one of the other trains is delayed. But yeah, not too bad. Did an hour 10 of pretty much continuous motion, but hitting our first delay. And wish I could have timed that delay around the bathroom break. After the unscheduled delay, we are back to moving. Well, to those who have just come three aboard, laps. Welcome. The next leg of welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. 13, dedicated We're to all my 13, 13 friends. Thank you so much for making this video Kingdom. possible and going on the laps with me. Square. Hey. Well, well. Hi. How's See, the park I'm feel? I'm celebrating. Oh, you got a better button. I did. You upgraded your button. <laughs> I got you one too. Now this, this is a proper button. <laughs> celebrating the training act. They're like, what? <laughs> what? Did you write that? I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, here we go. We are at number 14. Five. And stay seated. With friends here. Hands, what up, arms, Club 1313? And legs. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip. Hi. Just did my first bathroom break. Timed it perfectly. They were refilling the train as I was emptying my body. The Trenta Cold Brew is gone. I'm in good shape now. I did it. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. With your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your on the train. Just saw my friends, the Butler family over there. Oh, today is going to be a great day. So many bonnets. Ride 18 through Critter Country. I, I'm like pumped now that I don't have a Trenta inside my belly anymore. We'll click 20 because it's 20 as soon as we take off. So we're at our 20 rides, which then if you do the math would be five Grand Circle Tours. Hey guys, I'm Ricky. What's it like out on the park? It's, the energy is great. It's humid, but you wouldn't know it based on how much everyone's having fun. No, the parks are full, it feels good today. That's awesome. Nice. It, it's like a little gray and chilly on here in the morning. Yeah. And I was definitely. like, I need to start sweating so that I don't have to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You want to hit? You want to hit number official, 21 for us? Official. There we go. 21 rides coming up right now. 22. The sun is coming out. It is turning into a beautiful day. What a great way to spend Disneyland's birthday. And in celebration of Disneyland's birthday, I've now been presented a birthday cupcake. Is this the birthday cupcake or a regular cupcake? No, regular cupcake. Regular cupcake. I have a regular cupcake. Don't know if I'm gonna eat it yet because chocolate fingers doesn't sound good with camera buttons, but nonetheless, happy birthday, Disneyland. What a way to celebrate. What's up, bud? What's going on? How you doing? Long time no see. I figured I could do a couple laps with you. Uh, couple laps, couple <laughs> just, rides with just, just a couple. I can do a couple today. I mean, Rod got, got left at the station. It's all right. It's the best place to win. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So right now we are sitting off on, this is going to be ride number 29. Three hours in. Starting to feel a little bit of the fatigue. Welcome and, uh, aboard the Disneyland 13 more hours Road. to go. Will you do me the honors? Yes, I will. Just one click, right? One click. One break the rules. Did I get it? This is my you got it. Yay. Part of the 30. Around every bend, there's natural beauty. Shout out to all my friends in Club 33. Eight laps. Starting to feel it a little bit, but also the park's getting full Welcome and the energy is coming Disneyland around. Railroad. My bud Tommy has joined me. You want to do the honors and click off the next one? 34. Taking a water break in New Orleans Square. 
temperature starting to warm up, which I was telling Tommy, I needed to get hot because when you sweat, you don't have to pee. All right, it's a little bit afternoon. I'm at the Main Street train station and Town Square is just covered with people. They're doing the 67th birthday sing-along and they're doing the uh, cavalcade. So there's a big, big party out in Town Square, but people don't know that the real party is right here in the back of the train. That's right, Tommy. 36. Be seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Please watch your kids. Here. What number are we at? 43. It's my bud Joel. Joel, kick us off for 44. Yes, 44. And it's my bud. She's been coming through, bringing me lunch, bringing me water. Hit us off. 45. We are at 46, almost 130. Got quite a while to go. Currently at 48. Big milestone as they pull out of New Orleans Square. 50. All right, so my roommates on this lap are going to click me off. <laughs> 51. <laughs> Still going. Update. I was just informed that this train is now on its last lap for the day, and then it's done. So I I can make it back here. But there's not a restroom that's close to this spot. Oh, no, there is a restroom over there. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, I am off the train. Not a super long wait for the next one. I'm definitely going to hit the restroom while I'm already stopped. I'm just going to hope that I can thread the needle and just hop right back on another stadium seating train. It does feel good to walk, though. I'll tell you that. That was a quick one-minute bathroom break. My train's still there. He just said 30 to 40 minutes, which is horrible. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I can't walk back to New Orleans Square. That'll mess up my count. All right, so I'm gonna run a timer to see how much time I do lose. Uh, the gentleman said that a lot of people don't get off at the stop, which means that two trains might have to come by before it's my turn to get on. So that even makes it more dangerous on getting the bench versus the stadium seating. I have a lot of decisions to make. It's 2.30 and this could really affect the overall amount of rides, laps, like the whole day is kind of hinging on how well this jumping train works out for me. Wish me luck because I'm feeling like I'm getting ready to hit a rough patch. All right, so it is the train that I want. But will enough people get off and enough people get on? Like, will I make it? Because if not, I have to wait for this train to come all the way back around because I don't want to ride on the bench train. All right, so that train just left, which means the next one is the bench seat one. So I'm going to let that train pass and catch that when it comes all the way around. I'm probably stuck here for like 20 something minutes and it's already been 10. Not ideal. So in process, Darren from the 
there it is. 35 minute delay. Wow, that's more than one whole lap, four different rides around the park. That was huge. Right. Let's do this, let's get it done. Here we go. Stay seated with your hands. What's up, bud? Hey, bud, how are you? What are you guys been getting into today? Trying to do all the opening day rides. Oh, yeah? I've been doing one, this one. At least the accessible one. Yeah, we're also talking about the inaccessible ones. How many can you not do? Uh, most of them, actually. Yeah, yeah, most of the opening day ones. Can you do the horse-drawn cart? No. no. None of the vehicles. None of no. the vehicles. Okay, I thought I was trying to guess it. So that yeah. one, you can do storybooks. Yeah. You can do Casey Jr. Yeah. Uh, you can do Mark Twain. Well, 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 uh, oh, this is such a challenge. Uh, Snow White, you can do. Peter Pan, you can do. Mr. Toad, you can do. Yes. Can you can do the bench on the carousel? Uh, it's hard to step up on onto it. Okay, so the carousel is like a no. Yeah. Or like a weird yes. If I want to crawl, it's a weird yes. <laughs> Everybody yeah. loves doing that at Disneyland. <laughs> well, Bods, I'm so glad you're joining us. Just joining us. Welcome Good aboard the you. Disneyland Railroad. Hey, right, friends, back in my spot with friends. This is lap 58. Ben, you want to click me out for the next one? Here you'll find rocket ship if you look overhead. Maybe a glimpse of a monorail. Yeah, 59. This is the lap 60. Almost at my goal. I could walk away, I could stop. I do feel tired, it's getting hot. I feel like meh. But I also feel like I'm close to doing something even more epic. 65. 66 takes me to Toontown. One more to Tomorrowland. One more to get to 67. <laughs> Sixty-seven. Get it. Sixty-seven rides on the railroad. Sixteen and three-quarter laps. And uh, yeah, it's four thirty. So I got seven and a half more hours. Is that it? Why not? Why not keep going? Why stop now? Hey guys! I just did sixty-eight rides. Yeah. On the Should I go to midnight? Yes. yes. Let's go to midnight! Let's go to midnight! I mean, I'll go to midnight. They're not going to midnight. I'll go to midnight. You can hear over in Town Square, they're doing the flag ceremony. But I would pretend like that's the Trainiac ceremony today. Thanks, Disneyland. I appreciate it. 75. Getting close to 100. My baba. My cold brew space age drink. Look at those little cocoa puffs. Those are energy pellets. This is gonna get blazing. It's gonna get, you also got me a Ronto? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, bud, I appreciate it. You're welcome. I really needed this so bad. All right, with the Ronto wrapped in my belly, 76, space age meat. Feeling real good, real good. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on. Really started to feel it. Like just the constant going, the motion, the fumes, being out in the sunlight all day. I am really starting to feel it. And I remember it was around like sunset when I did the tram thing that I was like, yeah, why am I doing this? You could just leave. You could just get off and go home. Only your own stupidity is keeping you here which is the charm, I guess. <laughs> Let's ride this train. Sitting someplace and just going around and around in a circle and the repetition of this ride, like seeing the show scenes over and over again, it's a special kind of repetitiveness that's like bizarre. Very, very interesting experiment. Super glad that I'm doing it, but uh, definitely a day at the park I will not forget. This is a wild, wild way to experience the park. 85 trains emptying out hasn't been this empty since like 10 a.m. this morning starting to get on that backside where everybody's doing dinner people get in their positions for their nighttime shows and a lot of people are just calling it quits so uh, even though the trains might run slower I kind of feel like the vibe is going to be way up high so yeah the crazy day experiment keeps rolling on with five more hours to roll <laughs> come on Let's do it! <laughs>
Can I get a picture too? Hello. Are you getting big trampian energy right now? I am because I'm getting, look at this, when we pull out, this is going to be 94. Okay. So I'm so close to 100 rides, it. which is 25 laps. Yeah. So I feel confident I'm going to be able to get to like 100 something, maybe like, maybe 33 laps. Like, be three laps would be kind of sick. Yeah, that'd be a great number to end on. Yeah. I've literally been sitting in this exact seat now since I think two o'clock. Oh my God. You're a maniac. Would you do me the honors? I would love to. Chris Glass with what number? This will be 94. 94. Yeah. <laughs> I've just seen the lights start to come on. The sun is setting. This Matterhorn view that I've been looking at now, like every 15 minutes for the last five hours. Just getting better and better. Right now we're gonna hit, what's that sweet spot? Oh yeah. After this, one more lap, and then I'm at 100. Sure you guys don't want to stay till 100? No. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Tommy! We're gonna hit 100, bud. Howdy. We're gonna hit 100 real soon. Tommy, you've had a whole full day and I've been sitting in this exact same spot. There is the Revere <laughs> Sharing this station, Main Street, USA. And with Main Street, USA, we are at 100 rides. <laughs> Fun lap 103. It's almost nine o'clock. Now Main Street will take me to 104. I've got three hours left, but these three hours are gonna be magical because I'll be able to cruise by the parades, I'll be able to see the fireworks, and I'll also be able to see a little bit of Fantasmic. So there's a lot of energy to, to bring me bring me across the stretch. While everyone else is watching the sky, I am watching them stealing their magic because I have the best seat in the house because I get to see all of Disneyland, not just a section of it. Train. That's right. Needed at all times. Keep your hands on. Back to rolling solo. Nice. Supervise little ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to those who have just come Grand aboard, finale. welcome. The nice. next leg of our journey. One hundred eleven. One twelve. When I hit Main Street. Trust me on it. It's too dark in this one spot. So one more spin around. And uh, I have tied my tram score of 116 rides in a day. We're gonna break it. I feel good, we're gonna break it. 113. <laughs> Three more to break the, uh, the trampian. And then I will fully complete the metamorphosis of becoming the Trainiac. So it's 10 o'clock and we just stopped Stopped in New Orleans Square, probably nighttime show stuff or maybe one of the two trains is like refueling. I literally just thought we were moving and we were definitely not moving. <laughs> Welcome aboard everyone, please remain seated all time, keeping your hands, arms, legs, and Back feet inside the train all time. Friend, here we find ourselves where this video began. 20 odd minutes for you has been 14 odd hours for me. But I have two more to go and there's no way I'm stopping now. One fourteen. 
two way from Ty and the Tramp. What's up, everybody? I am so tired. Oh, come on. You look like you've only been on the train for what, 10 hours? I, I just want to give you the SD card right now and just cry and go home. <laughs> so it's 10. Been riding since 8 a.m. Yeah, so do the math. 14 hours. 14, 14 hours. So when we hit Tomorrowland, that'll be 115. So when we pull Main into Street. Main Street, that's 116, which is how many times I rode the tram. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is that All right. Final time? Let's do this. We got this. 115 <laughs> at 1015. <laughs> All right. You'll have to trust me because the lighting here is horrible. The 116. <laughs> Witness. Witness. You can read it, right? 116. 116. 116. So I now tied my record as the champion. So just one more stop. And metamorphosis is complete. And the Trimiac is born. <laughs> the champion is. Oh! oh! Is that my Mickey pretzel? It's it's nice. Oh, I need this so bad. Mm. I got so into my pretzel conversation. Sugar, boom, boom. Rabbit, 117, 118. Fun the champion is dead. It's the birth of a new era. The Trimiac has been born. What the hell am I talking about? I'm. Stepping off of this train for the first time since 2 o'clock. This is the third time I have not been on a train since the park opened. I'm not giving up now. Goonies never die. Oh, my butt hurts. Haven't used the bathroom since 2. The train conductor very subtly said, this train's over. Next train's supposed to be here in 10 minutes. Uh, it's 10.30, so I've got 90 minutes to go. I'm at 118. Mm -mm -mm. It just sucks that I have to end the night on the bench seats. Thank you. There it is. There was my home. Alright, so it was longer than 10 minutes, but not too bad. We are back in business. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view. You can see people stepping onto it's a small world just below us. It's so dark, you can't even see it. In the distance, but just What's that say? 118. 119. 120. As slow as they're going right now with one train, I feel like maybe, maybe there's eight more in it. slowly fading because they're going to let the second Main Street electrical parade pass, which means that this last train that I wanted to be the fastest has quickly become the slowest. So I'm going to predict that now that by the time we get back around the Toontown, at the pace that these guys are going, they're going to be like, this is the last call, which is I just talked to my buds, it means that even though I didn't get to go to Disneyland today, I'm going to get dropped off in Toontown and then have to walk through the entire park to get out. Yeah, so I don't know why I thought this epic voyage would end on Main Street. So yeah, at least I'll get to take a lap. Not the worst thing. So the train that we're on just had a mass exodus and a lot of those people got on the train at New Orleans Square which means at the end of the day, they were so tired that they rode this train all the way around the park to avoid doing what, an eight minute walk? Love it. 125, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna take us back to Main Street and that's it. We will not be returning to New Orleans Square Station. However, we will be making stops at Mickey's Two Town Depot, Tomorrowland, and the front of Disneyland Main Street USA. There we go. There we go. So it's gonna be 128 unless the train derails. Why the hell would I say that? <laughs> Why would I say that? 
What a ride. Feel good about 128 being the final number. He's talking, the guy's talking, and there's music on this. It's absolutely insane. All right, 128. Well, what did they say about this? Why is it like a rave on here right now? So what is the sweeper pass? So there's people that are at the station, and they're going to go around and pick them up. So we get to do one other weirdo lap. Yeah, that's awesome. I thought it was 128. Suck it. 132. So this Christmas miracle, it's midnight right now, but we get to do the sweeper pass, which is like, why did they go so far? Out of, oh, they told us like, this is our last stop here because you can't get off. Because they don't want to be sprinkling people deeper in the park. All right. Now I'm a sweeper pro. And yes. the sweeping trip, you can get on, but you can't get off. Yes, exactly. Sweeper Pro. And the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. As we begin our journey. Take a train ride just to see. When it is this late and this quiet in the park, not only can we hear cars just ripping right behind us, but we can actually hear the animatronics over on Utopia from the train. Like, we can literally hear Bird over there fidgeting around every two seconds. It's insanely quiet. Wow, you can hear a pin drop or a bird fidget. Alright. Around 
132. The grand 16 hours and 20 logo. minutes. Stops at that was incredibly land, stupid. Tomb, what a way to spend Disneyland's 67th birthday. Last fall. But it was very much fun. I appreciate all my friends that showed up and took laps with me, brought me treats, helped me pass the time. That was quite an experience. Yeah, 132 rides, 33 laps. And my legs don't work. Wow. Friends, I've been to Disneyland for 16 hours from rope drop to close. And this is the furthest I have been inside of the park. What a completely bizarre and unique experience today was. And that's why I did it. I love coming to this park. I love reinventing how I can enjoy this park. Today was one of those things that I just like, what would it be like to ride the train all day long? Now I know. Fun, exciting, a great way to meet new people, hang out with your buds. Also very exhausting and tiring in a very, not hard work way, but a mental way. Hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you to all my friends at Club 1313 for helping me make it possible. And for all of those people for coming out and taking a ride with me. The Trainiac happened today, 132 rides, 33 laps, 16 hours and 20 minutes around Walt's Magic Kingdom celebrating 67 years of Disneyland. What a day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you even more for going on this trip with me. Friends, until the next time I see you riding 132 times on the Disneyland Railroad, I'll see you back here with more Insane Disneyland Fun. Friends, if you enjoyed today's video and you would like to see my celebration of Disneyland's 67th birthday, check out this video right here. And please subscribe to the channel so I can keep doing insane stunts like this. Please leave a comment, like the video, and thank you to all my friends at Club 1313 for taking the ride with me. I love you all.